Hey, I'm CJ Ward. We begin tonight with the mysterious death of a local dog. Someone adopted it from a local animal shelter, but it turned up dead just four weeks later. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins the slide with the story. And Tracy, sheriff's investigators are looking into it as a possible crime, and animal rights groups are very upset. They are, CJ. They are distraught. They have zero tolerance for animal cruelty, and they believe this is a serious case. When a young man returned to the Santa Barbara Animal Shelter for a second look last month, a kind-hearted stranger picked up the tab for Floyd's adoption. Shelter volunteers wanted the two-year-old Chihuahua to have a forever home. Monday, a witness who wishes to remain anonymous reported that the dog had been buried. And said to the eyewitness, oh look, I think he's dead. I'll give him a bath now. So he washed off the evidence. Then he asked the eyewitness, the female, to drive to his father's house with him to get a shovel to bury the dog. Can you say hi? Animal rescue team volunteers fear the dog had been kicked, beaten, strangled, or drowned. They say the anonymous caller did the right thing. No animal should go through any cruelty. It's unfair. They don't have a voice. They can't speak out. We need to be the voice for them. The sheriff's PIO confirmed they are investigating, but they have not named the suspect. The dog's remains have been recovered from a Goleta yard and may be held as evidence. A chihuahua that weighs less than eight pounds was victimized by a big bully. When does it stop? DCNO is the founder of Davies Legacy, a 501c4 that pushed for the prosecution and deportation of a man who killed the nonprofit's namesake. Davies Legacy is changing its name to Animal Abuse Task Force and plans to fight for tougher animal cruelty sentencing. And we tried to reach out to the suspect online for his side of the story, but he did not respond. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you.